Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a boil test on this Sterno Inferno using a 7 ounce can of Sterno. This got two cups of water starting at 60 degrees to a boil in 12 minutes and 31 seconds. Now for Sterno that's pretty good. I guess these well, heat exchange fins on the bottom really did help. What I'm going to do today is do another boil test using a Trangia burner or Trangia burner some people keep trying to tell me to change uh, with alcohol now the only this fits down in here and it's maybe a little bit low but I'm gonna try it because I think a thing called thermal feedback is gonna make this kinda maybe run away with this the with a normal Trangia when you're burning it, it heats up this top which makes vapor. But if you put this in a closed area like this, the heat could be bouncing back and bouncing back and bouncing back and heating this up, making more vapor, which then makes it hotter, which bounces more back. And you get a thermal runaway. Sometimes this will just kind of take off all over the place. And I'm just waiting to see if that's what maybe happens here. But now, if you look at the instructions for the Sterno Inferno, most of the instructions of the sheet is what not to do from here, here, and here. And the one thing that they make with the big says fuel can, use a 7 ounce can. I don't know if you can see this. But don't use a stem wick, wick fuel, or methanol. So we'll see. Now, <clears throat> With this, I'm using methanol. Even on its own, this burns hotter than what the Sterno does. So we got to be careful with that. These are only made out of thin aluminum. So it's conceivable that this, if this, if I do get a thermal runaway, it could melt or distort this. Or if it gets too hot, and other ones, I've seen things where the fins have come off. Come off of the bottom of pots like this so we'll have to see what happens and if it does fall apart that's my bad because Sterno said don't do it but let me go get some water prepped and I'll be right back for a test okay I've got my water at about 59 degrees let's get this started before it gets up to 60 now I had Jason Bramlett point out to me that this flame shaped hole here is for lighting the stove. Hope you can see that that lit it so that you don't have your hand stuck down in here when it pops. I'm going to try the Trangia burner setting on the bottom. No lifting on it just to see what happens here. So here we've got two cups of water at 59 degrees and let's see how long it takes this to get to a boil. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 4 minutes 6 seconds. Quite a hefty boil there. Okay, so that a little bit of a difference there. So two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Got to a boil in 4 minutes 6 seconds. Uh, you can I don't, don't know if you'll be able to see in this camera. Ouch. But it's I don't think it's a thermal runaway, but it's pretty hefty. Now it's going to be affected by the water that's coming out through the top. Let me take this off. Okay, again, the handles are warm, but they're not hot. Yeah, see, that's pretty, pretty hefty flame there for a Trangia. Again, because of the thermal feedback. Now, let's just see here. The side of this stove is 255 degrees. Yeah, about 200 and, well now it's going down a little bit, about 250 degrees average here, if you can see the light. Have to be careful with that with aluminum. Let me put this out before I do melt the, uh, the stove part. Just lower the simmering in there. and then blow it out. Okay, so a bit of a difference there. 
with the sterno with this the seven ounce can two cups of water at about 60 degrees came to a boil in 12 minutes 31 seconds again this two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in four minutes and six seconds apparently we don't need something quite as big as a Trangia maybe like it's been suggested to use a cat stove or something maybe just some little stove in there with some carbon felt might be an idea for the next uh, next job to, the next test to try hmm okay well that takes care of that so I, I'll have to inspect this stuff make sure that it's okay before I do do the next test but I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions like Jason Bramlett did with this hole being where you stick your match in to light it just like so but uh, as always I thank you and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now